comes Norm up the stairs. These are really old. Very cute. All playing, well, three playing an instrument and one singing. Darling. A lot of people like these really, really old. I don't know, are these German? These really old figures. This is a pretty neat, unique guy. Is this a Bobby, Norm? Is that a what? A Bobby. English. Oh, yeah. English Bobby. Looks like it, yeah, with a big big uh, helmet. star on his tall helmet. One of those real helmets. Norm actually, I thought it was crazy, but he bought the actual hat. Up in Anoka, in a tick shop. Yeah, he likes weird old hats like that. <laughs> <laughs> it's nuts. I was looking at this the last time we were in here. I thought it was pretty unique. I don't know who made it though. Very cool. This is really unusual. 1970s. Hmm. I don't think I've ever seen anything like that before either. Pretty cool though. <laughs> nice and quiet up here, isn't it? Barb even turned the fan off. She's been very accommodating for us to video this wonderful antique shop. This is pretty nice for $20. Kind of wintry, don't you think? Yeah. This is an old Lucite grape cluster hanging light. Pretty popular. Oh, those are nice. Frosted, pearly. I like those. It's $22 for that cluster. Not bad. You don't see that very often. I just wanted to show you for $35. Now it's marked down to $25. Pink and black is pretty popular. I have had some pink and black ones, but that's not really my color either. Color scheme, but it's a nice one. There's some retro tumblers, and I don't know if those would be iced tea back there, the tall rooster ones. And then some Pyrex. This is maybe a little more unusual one. That's a fun fondue pot. It can take you all day to go through this mall. Where do you see all the glassware over here?
Isn't this different? That's pretty reasonable. Wow, reminds me of the Space Needle. That's cool. This is amazing. Collection, wow. All the same booth here. This is really unusual, isn't it? That's funny. A very big brass. I'm trying to see the price there. $9.99. <laughs> Isn't that funny? Wishing bone. Wishbone. Not a wishing bone, a wishbone. That would be funny to display at Thanksgiving time, wouldn't it? Hmm. <laughs> Cute. Look at all these gorgeous ladies. Wow, these ladies are so pretty. Oh, this guy here looks like he needs to be over with her. Hmm, I wonder how they got separated. These two are adorable. The, um, this one and the one behind her. Wow, so cute. And I really, really admire the Asian pears. They're so cute. She's quite adorable. Then we have more up here. They seem to be as pricey as um, lady head bases. Mm -hmm. I do admire this bird back here. And I've got a lot of birds, so enough of them like that. Those are fun. Lots more roosters. Parakeet is very sweet. But gee, I had them when I was a little kid. I'd sit on the edge of my cereal bowl and drink the milk. I'm not sure I liked it. I was pretty fussy even as a kid, I think. From what I remember. Oh, isn't she cute? Let me see if I can get back there. Joseph. Yeah, Joseph original. Look at those eyelashes. Oh my. Not sure who that is. It's like a very, what do you call them, uh, little story, I'm thinking a little Miss Muffet, but not her, it just reminds me of something like that. So much to look at. Now over here. These are extremely amazing. Heidi Shoop 
figurines very very highly sought after probably I'm assuming I don't know how many she made of some of her things but I know they're always very expensive but boy do I admire them I like her the best back there these two are more countryfied very sweet I love how stylized they are and this is a very very cute cat set funny hats and shawls that match isn't that funny they are so cute Brayton, Laguna, Mimi, and Fifi. <laughs> ah, so they have names. Now these I like too, of course, because of the poodles. These are Heidi Shoop. Just adorable. Aren't they something? I'm surprised they wouldn't have been a little... A little more different looking girls but they're probably twins and they both wanted the same dog so they dress alike and have the same taste makes sense to me I thought this was a pretty cool horse pottery horse these are really something they're also Heidi Shoop a lot of crazing on them, huh? They are different. These are different. A Danish angel. Huh. More back there. That's a cute couple. People are going to say, $20? That's a deal. I got this one. Yep, so I'm not getting another one, but just thought you'd like to see it. I'm getting this, though. Adorable. Very, very good condition. This is quite nice. I have the ceiling lights glaring in it, but... That was a lot of work. Really, really nice. Counted cross stitch, right? <laughs> I don't think I'd send anyone that one. Mm. Anyways, these are nice. It's thirteen fifty. I was really debating the other day when we were in here shopping. I was really debating this eighteen dollars for this very big brass tulip top candelabra. I wouldn't put candles in it. It's nice just the way it is. But it looks to me like it is lacquered you just don't see any bad spots on it I don't know why I feel that way it's kind of the tone of it it's not as yellow so I don't know but that is way more worth $18 I believe
There's what I would consider a Christmas chalkware angel. And it's actually uh, Mary and baby Jesus. I don't think I've seen that one before. Now this is very unique. It says it's a honey dispenser for $14.99. I don't think I've ever seen that before either. That's pretty cool. Norm has gone back to liking some good organic honey on some toast once in a while. I've tried to steer him away from toast and jam and things like that. I don't think he should be eating it, but a treat now and then. You know how we all got to have our treats. There's some bottles for you. Pepsi and 7-Up ones I think are cute. Mountain Dew one, that's pretty cute. I've also purchased a lot of things from this booth too because they're also very reasonably priced. And they always have retro glassware and Pyrex. That's very cute. Decal. They're getting kind of cleaned out of uh, Pyrex, so it's gotten so popular. Fun set. Oh. These are nice. Cocoa. Huh. Nut meats and spice. That's a very small jar. Huh. Very cool. Oh, and there's another jar with a big decal on it. Now this I gotta show you, you won't believe it. This and another one or two downstairs are the biggest Christmas cactuses I've ever seen and they always bloom in the winter time. I'm not sure when, if this has already been done or it's just starting. I can't remember if it does bloom closer to Christmas and we weren't here, but have you ever seen anything so massive? The stems are like shrubs. It's unbelievable. I don't know how Barb keeps them alive, but I believe it was a relative or her mother that had these. So they're very, very old. No, I'm still talking to, to the lady that uh, oversees this area up here, upstairs. I'm not sure if I filmed this yet or not. I don't think so when I was here last time. Just a few days prior, we were here shopping, but that's an unusual horse.
I'm going to show you my favorite, um, is this Heidi Shoop? I don't know. Yeah, no, it says California. No wonder I like it. Okay, let me, I can't reach up here very well. I should take them down to show you, but I've been eyeing these for two years now for $96. That's why I haven't gotten them, but they are fantastic. I would love those. Maybe someday there'll be a sale. Unless this says firm, but... Oh, gorgeous. These are very cool. But I don't have turquoise or blue in my living room where I would be displaying horse figurines. But they are spectacular. Very western though. And I don't collect western ones, but I admit I have one small one on our shadow box. I think he's yellow in metallic gold with a chain and a saddle. He's adorable. Probably only paid $7 for it. There's some fun doggies. I um, have a dog collection that I have not shown in a video yet, at least at the time that this is being filmed. And I will be showing it later on this year. Here's a couple of small roosters. Uh, Nordic exchange the white one says that's really stylized isn't it that's really cool that's an interesting bowl it says don't know where that's made a couple dancing in the trees <laughs> pretty nice Nineteen thirty two Ford. And a pickup truck. I don't see a year. Those are pretty fancy, aren't they? Somebody's making all of this. Wow, that is just amazing. A K R Creations. Wow, that's incredible, huh? Just huge. Beautiful work. Here's a whole cootie set. It is probably not missing anything. Norm has collected so many of these crazy sets, I can't believe it. I keep saying, what are you doing with them? Oh, I'm going to make some crazy ones. Boy, I would love that. I'm sure it's a jewelry tree, but wouldn't that be cool with the uh, crystal-looking trees and 
and the deer. Oh my, I gotta go see how much that is. That is really cute. I've never seen those little... Well, the little guy is so sweet. What an outfit, huh? That is something. It's a nice set for $30. They don't look familiar to me either. Having a hard time focusing there. There we go. Kissing angels are left in. Those are nice. Most likely twenty six each. Yeah. And way back there is a very old chenille. I'll be focusing chenille Santa. Forty five dollars. He's probably German. He always had paper faces. I hope he's focusing. And up here is a, a chalkware angel. Really tall. For 18. And here is one of the other Here is one of the other giant Christmas cactuses that Barb takes care of. So there's at least two up here and at least maybe two downstairs. 